Hey, this is Wheelchair21, and I'm doing a follow-up review on Kamen Rider Rising Ultimate Kuga, SHF, Fig Art. And, uh, as I did before, I told about how it was, uh, really detailed, really nice, and I'm gonna do some possible poses and more reflect showing its mobility, posability, uh, more details with, like, what it has for, like, uh, hand accessories and such. So, uh, hey, let's just get this underway and see where it goes from there. Oh, yeah. And it comes with this nice, uh, crimson, I guess I'd, I'd call it. Nice crimson, uh, pure, maybe blood red, Tomashi exclusive stand. Uh, I don't know, but Mr. S never told that about it. That, so I was like, oh, sweet, a free stand. And crap, a lot of the hands just slipped out onto my little portable desk tray thing that I use on my laptop. Uh, but here he is. This is Kamen Rider Kuga. Posable leg. Pretty, uh... I don't know. If you can notice this, his leg kind of keeps moving back and forth, flexing, sort of. The knee, the kneecap. As I said, is like Momotaros is, as I've been told, that it keeps slipping off. It's not that it's broken, because you can see there's a nice small detailed notch and such. So, that's one thing. So, maybe uh, my teacher recommended, like, Gorilla Glue or something, putting it in there and holding it to seal it. But let me put that back on. Uh, his belt actually is quite, I didn't notice this till later on, the belt kind of moves with him. So I guess it's kind of like so like when he turns or something that it's still flexing so it doesn't catch up and like stop him from moving himself. His shoulder pads, they actually flip up. Uh, his head, uh, you can actually see like the hive like style of the eye. Hopefully it will work. Alright, good. His hive style eyes. Boom. Boom. Uh, so I'm going to do a few poses, maybe uh, the original, like how he would do that jumping punch of his version of his rider punch, maybe. So let me just see if they have that style of hand. Alright, here's the little hand. If you can see closely on my bookshelf, uh, this is another thing. I'm a big Godzilla fan, so if you can maybe notice it, right behind that Intercontinental title toy is a few of the Bandai Godzilla figurines that came out a few years ago for the Final Wars storyline or whatever, the last 50th anniversary movie. So, let's get him doing his little pose here. Okay, stupid kneecap. I am going to probably put a tap of gr glue on that to hold it in there. Alright, so, he always had like a hunching position, I believe, like a l lunging mobility, at least, from what I can remember. Because I really didn't get to see that much of the show. Like I did with some of the others, like uh, Ryuki, uh, Decade, and Double. I've seen mostly Double and Decade, and recently Ryuki, Black, Black RX, uh, um, I never, I actually never got to see any episodes itself, just clips like when he would turn, rise, when he got his Rising Mighty forms that he has. And this is his rising ultimate, as you all know by now. And let me just put him on the stand here. Uh, rising ultimate on stand. Let's just take a few looks. Boom. Boom. I know this doesn't really look like the punching 
jab thing, but I'm just trying to make sure that that knee does not keep falling off and wasting precious time to use on the uh, review. Uh, maybe I should do a quick rider kick since I have time. Let me pull him back. Let me. Boom. Boom. And here's Rising Ultimate Kick. I forget what the actual name is called, but I'm just going to call it Rising Ultimate Destruction. Because, from what I recall, when the original Ultimate Kuga's uh, Rider Kick was used, it had the possibility of destroying the whole world. Uh, yeah, so this is my review for Kamen Rider Rising Ultimate Kuga. Um, right now it's like 9 o'clock where I live and I'm a huge wrestling fan, so I'm going to stop my review here for now and... Uh, Maybe during the CS Toys live show, go back and do some more. This is Wheelchair 21. Bye.